Well, hello there and welcome to this video. Matthew McDonald here and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new custom video player 1.5. So with the 1.5, we've got a bunch of new features that you're going to totally love and that are going to help you to get your videos ranked by Google. So the theme for this update, which is the 1.5, has been search engine optimization. Now you'll find there's a whole bunch of other new features as well that we've included, but we've really majored on creating uh, video sitemaps and optimizing your videos for search engines. So let's jump on my computer screen and have a look at some of these new awesome features. So we're logged in here to custom video player 1.5. Let's quickly go over some of the new features. So just First thing we can notice, if you hover the mouse over the icons, you're going to get a nice description of the different fields. So if you're not sure what the field is about, just hover the mouse over there and you can get all the information you need. Now we've also moved the control size. So previously we had the control design which was in the advanced settings we've moved it here with the other controls so you've got the slim and super slim still available but we've just put it in a different location now with the auto start we've got a new feature instead of just a checkbox where you just had auto start on or off now we've got a new option here which is auto start once so there might be times where somebody comes to your web page and they're going to be moving around your website and coming back to the same page several times. In a case like that, you might want to set the video only to start once. That means when they return back to that page after checking out other pages on your website, the video won't start playing automatically every time. So you've got three different options there. You've still got the you do not start automatically, start automatically and once. Going into the advanced settings, we can see here straight away we've got a new field here. So we've got title. So you can enter your own title for your video here. Now this title is going to be available in your controls in the video, but it's also great for optimizing your site for search engines. So you just put your video title my awesome SEO video and you give it a description as well so okay so give your video a description and if you're grabbing a video from YouTube you can optimize that video for different keywords or obviously related keywords but that's a pretty cool thing that you can do let's just have a look at these features so I'm just going to scroll down and generate video code and here because we've enter the title we've got a new information icon if I click this information icon I can see here's the title of the video and below it I can see the description also if I have a look at the embed code we can see now in the embed code we've got title and we've got description so that's great for SEO as well so that goes into the player it goes into the embed code you can set the background color as well Basically, the way this works is with some browsers, when they first load the video, the background will load before the video player. So you might get this flash. The default is black, so you might get a flash black and then your video loads. So you can actually set the background color to match your page background or to match the video background. So you can enter. This one's an advanced feature but it's there available for those of you who want to use it. Moving down, we've got all the default logo settings and once again we've got the new hover, um, hover information bubbles which will give you a lot more information on those. And then with the share options now, if you do want to activate the share option, obviously you put your link to the actual video where the video is located on the web page. You put that in there, that activates the share button. And once the share button has been activated, you can give it a share title and a share description. Now, if you leave the title and the description blank, it's going to use your default title up here 
video title video description so you don't have to enter the same value twice you've got the share title and description if you want to have a different title and a different description for your share buttons now this is exciting we've got the new feature and this is the key feature of custom video player 1.5 so with this feature it will actually create a video sitemap so once again we need to enter the link which is going to be wherever your video is located that's the link you'd put in here so you wouldn't be putting in customvideoplayer.net you'd put in the actual page where you're going to be placing your video then you put your video title and with this one just as with the share options if you don't have a title it's going to grab the title here and also with the description same thing if you don't enter a description down here the custom video player will look for your default description up here now it's important to note that Google requires for you to have a video title and a description and a thumbnail image as well now with the thumbnail image if you don't enter an image in here which is going to be a direct link to the image which is your image URL the custom video player will look for your video image if you don't have a video image and you don't have a thumbnail image your video sitemap will be invalid it's required for you to enter a thumbnail image now it doesn't have to be a small image so don't let the thumbnail throw you off it can be any image and if you don't have an image for your video and you want to use the video sitemap feature then head over to to sites like photo bucket and just search for a related image for your video and enter the url in here so i'm just going to put this here to show you how it works and i can click generate video code it's given me an error here saying missing video link so if we scroll back to the top here I haven't entered a video link so obviously if you if you're using a video the custom video player is going to require a video link which can be a direct video file or it can be a YouTube link so let's just put one in there I'm going to choose a YouTube link for this one generate video code and now we can see this new feature that's come up video sitemap if you leave the page link for the video sitemap if you leave it blank the video sitemap feature is not going to come up so it's giving us two buttons here it's got preview sitemap and save and get sitemap link with the preview sitemap you can have a quick look at it without actually saving it obviously you could right click and save it to your computer so you have the option to preview your sitemap before you actually generate it so if you're happy with the sitemap you can click save and get sitemap link it gives you a new window with your link to your sitemap so it's going to give you your sitemap link it's actually created a new file in the content folder in your custom video player and if we have a look at that we can see there's my sitemap there and we've got the keywords in the actual name of the sitemap we've got the location we've got everything there that Google requires now it's also generated a Google webmasters link and you just simply copy that and add that to your Google webmaster tools now we'll be doing tutorials on Google Webmaster Tools but this is the link you're going to be needing the second link is what you'll need to submit it to Google from inside your Google Webmaster Tools if you don't have a Google Webmaster Tools account then make sure you go and register for one it's free to use and it's fantastic and as I, as I mentioned earlier we'll be doing some lessons with that so that's your new tools it actually creates it and saves the sitemap into your custom video player and you can use that link to submit your video site to Google and this way you can get your custom video player videos ranking on 
Google's video search and get more traffic to your video page. As you can see the custom video player 1.5 update takes the custom video player to another level and hey we're still just getting started. In 1.6 we're going to be majoring on mobile devices so 1.5 we majored on the SEO and made sure you can get those videos ranked and get more traffic to your site and also throw in some other really cool features 1.6 it's all all going to be about mobile devices we're going to do androids iphones ipads tablets all of that stuff to make sure this is the ultimate video player for you so go ahead update your custom video player might be a good idea to watch the brand new quick start guide which i've added into the package and make sure you watch out for the next video